the messy bench today. Well, it's messy because I've been working, but uh, this is the neck for the uh, Beetle Kill Pine Telecaster, and I've got this beautiful chunk of flamed maple that, uh, and I've got the uh, truss rod all set in there, got a piece of tape over the top of it, which I always do to uh, prevent the, that from uh, getting glue in there, and I'm about to glue this on. I will use this piece here as kind of a clamping call across the top to uh, keep it nice and flat, and yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so when you're uh, gluing, you wanna make sure you got that glue spread evenly pretty much across the whole thing and both pieces. And so just a thin layer on both of them. And now I'm going to stick them together, put the wide end down there, narrow end up there, and this is, of course, wider than the actual neck because we still need to uh, work on the neck. Um, so now I'm going to put my clamping call on here. Something like so. And uh, start putting clamps on. All right, we got Clamp City USA going on here. And this will be plenty to spread out the... Uh, glue and make it like it should be so anyway next step will be uh starting to work on the neck truss rods in place uh still got to thickness the headstock on this one and on the other one and uh the front of the fretboard and make the truss rod access hole accessible and whatever um but uh it's getting there speaking of beetle kill pine guitars here's the telecaster body or uh as I call them, commanders, and uh, I need to drill the electronics holes in this thing. Trying to get these things about ready to go finish, and uh, uh, so what I've got here is a stupid long drill bit put into my drill here, and I'm already got it started here. to do is drill one from here down into the control cavity got that so now there should be plenty of room for those wires to come through the pickup wire will go down through this way into there and then from there down into here. And so uh, now I'm going to start doing all the sanding and uh, that's where I'm at with this. Well, one. I made a beetle kill pine veneer cover for the electronics on this uh, Super Hawk here. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. It uh, goes along with the rest of the wood, has a lot of coloring in it. It's really thin, so I just soaked it in CA glue and it actually cracked down the middle. If you can see the the bright spot there, that's where I uh, did the, uh, or I glued it back together to uh, stabilize it. So then I soaked the whole thing in CA glue just to stabilize it. It's now dry, so now I get to uh, do some sanding and make it fit level with the uh, top of the body and then, or the bottom of the body there, and uh, we'll be good to go. And since we're on the subject of Beetle Kill Pine guitars, here is the Super Hawk, working on this Relic uh, shell pink bass also, which is pretty cool doing that for a customer. It's a parts caster, but uh, assembled and relic and everything by me. But anyway, here is the uh, uh, Super Hawk, and I've got it sanded all down to 80 grit, got everything smoothed. Uh, there's no bolts in the neck right now. The neck is just on there by itself. Again, I have to thickness the headstock and contour the uh, top of the uh, uh, fretboard and whatever behind the nut but uh, yeah it's coming right along and uh, I'll take it down and I will show you the 
control plate cover. So now here's the control plate cover. Fits really nicely on the back of the body. And uh, yeah, we got uh, did a little bit of a comfort carve here, meaning I angled this down this way so it's a little bit thinner here than what it is up in this area. Just something different that uh, I'm trying on this guitar. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. And uh, this is gonna be a neat guitar. So anyway, that's where we're at.